there's the day after. A few of them flipped over, but those guys I just had leaning against sticks. You can see they were just kind of leaning because uh, the last one that got tore down by the windstorm, the uh, the metal stakes that they were leaning on had bent them back and forth so many times they just snapped off. So yeah, this is a bright daylight shot of the deco. Got lots of compliments on it. Mostly I'm just going to take down the graveyard just because it's so flimsy. Watching some sweet ass TV. just another poop hole. I uh, was going to go look at, I have two cars lined up today, one for like a little bit ago and one for seven tonight, which is three hours from now. Um, so I had to get the car from his daughter and then he called me and then I called him back like 20 minutes later and he said that some other guy was already on his way with cash. I was like, yeah, cash too there, buddy. Give me a couple seconds to give you a reply, huh? That's two cars sniped right up from underneath me as I was going to look at them. But, like I said, um, it's hard to find a good car for a thousand nowadays. Back, back in the day, like when, shit, when we lived in Duluth, you could get a decent car for five hundred dollars that you'd last you a year or two and then you know get another one now you can't even get a decent car for under a grand that's all I'm doing right now videos kind of been me just blabbing about crap so I'm gonna try and get some good shots or something or somewhere I don't know keep it entertaining but keep it short uh, I will talk to you later. a ling a ding dong uh, the guy that sniped that car for me never showed up out there so that guy called me back and said, eh, if you want to check it out, come out here now. I'm on my way. Now I made it to the place I'm supposed to meet him. Just waiting for him to show up. It's an old abandoned gas station. Kind of feel creepy just sitting here all by myself. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully this is a nice car. Well, there it is. Just got done driving it around. It actually seems like a pretty decent car. It's got some ugly blemishes on it here and there, but it's not bad. Well, I bought it, because it was a damn good price for the car. It'll definitely get us through winter, all if not two winters, so, uh, word. Now if I could just remember how the fuck this guy got to his neighborhood, because there's a bunch of turns here and there and left and right. Uh, let's see here, and he went up here, oh. Freak. Should have paid more attention. This place up here is pretty cool. It's got a whole bunch of uh, old uh, railroad cars. Why the stutter? I don't know. Railroad cars. Um, here at this hotel here. That's pretty cool. I haven't been this way since, oh, before I even started vlogging. I haven't been driving this way. It's been a while since I've been out this way. Well, folks, I bought that car, but I'm getting to you now because I left my car with my mom at uh, her work and she left the camera in the car. But here is the headlight view of the car. Not bad. Anyways, so I'll give you a better shot tomorrow. Um, when it's daylight, I gotta run through the car and do my usual checklist of crap. Um, I mean, I did look. Sorry, you get close there. I did look at it, you know, pretty thoroughly. It's got, uh, it's got its issues, but for 800 bucks, you know, that's 3,800, so that thing's uh, bulletproof. <clears throat> it will uh, definitely get through winter. Which is pretty much all we were looking for, was to get through winter and to get a cheaper car. Gonna do that, check it out tomorrow. Right now I'm just uh, 
watching and catching up on my videos. Well, it's pretty much the end of the day. And, uh, sorry it wasn't that exciting, but it's short, so you guys should be able to cut through it real quick. I'm gonna watch some TV, eat, and then go to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy. I smell sex again, can't